Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for tuning in here today for another day with the Aquarium Project. I just wanted to kind of start off with something a little bit a little bit different. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying, sorry I didn't up upload on Sunday. Um, few reasons, I'm just kind of having a bit of a day, I'm not going to lie. Um, and so that's why I've maybe been a bit quiet for the past few days. I've just been, uh, you know, doing my mental thing, um, getting myself right. Um, not anything too bad, just um, as I've talked about before, I've got some uh, mental stuff um, that I deal with and a bit up and down and yeah, I just decided I was going to have a break um, over the past few days, so yeah. But we're back into it now, I'm, I'm all, you know, I'm still feeling happy and everything, like I'm, nothing makes me happier than talking about fish, so that's basically what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I just, I just thought I'd mention that and kind of acknowledge it because I don't know if maybe that'll help even just one of you people um, listen listen to your your feelings and that. But um, yeah, that's that's basically what I've had been 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 kind of going going with is my uh, little bit of a struggle recently. But um, yeah, aside from that, I don't know if I've just too much else. We've got a whole bunch of new Africans, which I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do a video tour or not. Um, a lot of them is kind of order in or like I got people coming today and that, so I'm gonna wait till it kind of settles out with what I got and then we can go from there um, but yeah aside from that let's get into the main topic for today's video eh? but first I'll just ask you if you haven't already uh, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff but yeah um, the main topic for today's video is the platy the humble platy and so we're gonna be talking about why I think they might be the best of all the fish so let's get into it so I've got a theory right that maybe just maybe the platy um, might actually be the best fish that there is in the entire world. So you might be thinking, and rightfully so, Cam, what are you talking about? Well, you've come to the right place. I will tell you what I'm talking about. So in case you're not wondering, um, these are the platies here. This is like a blue coral calico or something, they call it. But there's like, I don't know, as many different colors you can think of, there's probably a platy that color. Um, I probably should have made this video when I had more platies in stock, but selling so many platies over the past few days has kind of made me realize. So there is a lot of reasons why I think they're fantastic little fish. And the number one reason is the color. So the good thing with the platy, as I kind of mentioned before, is any possible color you can think of, there'll be a platy that color. There's one with speckles, one with plain color. You know, you can get one with more spots, um, all sorts of things like that. Similar to a guppy, but particularly in the New Zealand context, the platies do much better than the guppies. Guppies do have a bit of a sort of reputation of kind of killing over for no apparent reason in New Zealand. And it is one of those ones where they also, with the long tails, they do get a bit um, like shredded and it's hard to keep them in premium condition. We don't really run into that with the platies for our customers. Um, they tend to be a bit more hardy and a bit more kind of like how a platy is in the idea that a lot of people have in their head uh like how a guppy is in the idea that a lot of people have in their head um so yeah i think that's one of the best things about them um the other reason why i like them is because they breed so readily so with the platy um similar to a lot of the live bearers basically males females water you'll have fry um they are it's always cool like especially when you get like little kids in that involved um, seeing all the fry and like the whole process of raising them up is actually really really interesting and it's one of those things that can really foster sort of that interest at a young age but I mean even for adults like, even I get excited if there's platy fry like popping up in one of these tanks I always get excited and I'll be like whoa that's so cool so yeah I just think it is pretty awesome um, that's one of the best parts is being able to kind of start with a few like maybe you start with three a male and two females and then you grow and grow and grow um the part of that that is also good is that unlike a guppy you're not really going to get stuck with them they're very easy to a lot easier than a guppy to sell um because they're one that like everyone you know you don't need a big tank they'll go with all these little community fish or like planted tanks or aquascapes or whatever so there's a whole range of uh, different people that will be able to take them. Um, even if you just take them and trade them to your local fish store for, you know, some plants or something. Um, at least in this part of the world, local fish stores always need platies. Like, they, they sell a lot for a reason. Um, 
one of the so I'm just going through all these reasons why I like them. They also eat algae, so that's cool. What I do is um, sometimes when I trim the plants, especially the um, cherry bar planter tank we got around the corner, oftentimes there's like a little bit of hair algae and stuff on it, because like, I don't really put that much effort into the plants, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'll trim them and there'll be a little bit of algae, and then I'll just chuck them like, so what I do is I grow them and I cut them and then I put them in bunches to sell. Um, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll take those bunches and chuck them in a platy tank, like, I'll do this like towards the end of the day and I'll chuck them in a platy tank overnight and they'll come in the next morning completely spick and span um, pristine kind of thing so yeah that, that's an, another really cool part they will help munch through the algae and like tidy up um, this is kind of a weird uh, not example what's the word like comparison but I don't know if you've seen like the flagtail protolotus um, which is like a big like a monster fish that will got these big lips that go around like this and they go like this and just kind of bounce around and, and nibble on stuff. Basically a platy will do exactly the same thing, obviously in a much smaller package, like a flag tail will get like, you know, big um, for like an arowana tank or like datanoid tank or, um, you know, some big stuff. But then, you know, you can just chuck them in with the, uh, you know, you can kind of scale that down and have like a blue ram platies um you know i can't what's a can't think of any other examples but you know what i mean like little stuff so they kind of just go around and nibble on like bits of algae that'll grow on the plants or on the rocks or on the wood um i think that's really fun um but yeah the other other thing another good reason um to like them is they are cold water tolerant or cool water tolerant i wouldn't like they won't i wouldn't put them outside or i wouldn't take them too low um, but for most modern kind of insulated houses in New Zealand, um, particularly up towards Auckland, but you know, anywhere really, they'll be fine just at room temperature, um, like 18 degrees cent uh, Celsius, will be, they'll be happy as, like they're not going to have any, you know, issues or that, they'll be, they'll go to town, um, breed up a storm, so they can kind of do that or they can go up to like your tropical temperatures if you want to like take them up to 26 and keep them with some like cardinals or something like that you'll be plenty safe enough to do that um you're not going to have any trouble in terms of things that i would maybe consider with them um before buying them not like a negative but like a different thing is i think they do so much better on a vegetable like a uh, vegetable based flake or an algae based flake or something like that they will be fine with like a tropical flake and that, but I find vegetable based foods and uh, algae based foods, as we've discussed, they do eat a lot of algae. So keeping them with an algae based food is really gonna help bring out some color and bring out some natural activity. What's something fun that people do is, like I've got a few people who do it, they've got like a, maybe they've got like a bucket or, or a vase or something outside or like on a windowsill inside. And they'll put like, you know, those um, river rocks, those like circular river stones, river pebbles, like maybe this big. And they put them in there and let them grow all this hair algae and um, just filament algae and like get kind of gross. And so you take one of them out and chuck them in the tank and it's like a like a treat, like a live food treat, but it's live algae. And you'll just like chuck it in there and it will obviously sink. And then they just kind of swarm it and it's just like a feeding frenzy, but just in a different way, like... You know, if you feed baby brine shrimp or Daphne or something like that, like a lot of fish will do this kind of thing. But to do it with a platy, which is a more algae, actually, I mean, you could do it with a flagtail protolotus now that I think about it, but we are talking about platies. So you just chuck it in and they just go to town on it. That is so much fun. Um, it's something like a little bit more different, a little bit creative. Um, that that seems to be go quite well. Like you can feed your fish who are, you know, more carnivorous, these live insects and like live food treats, but you can do this if things eat algae as well. Um, this I do would work for like basically any um, any of the live bears, basically um, molly. No, uh, flagtail protolotus. You could do it with mbuna. You could do it with trophies, like anything really. Um, and get to watch that real natural behaviour. It's a lot of fun. Um, but they do. I mean, they will eat. Like if you want to chuck in baby brine shrimp or Daphne or uh, micro worms or white worms or something, they will eat it as well. They are omnivores, but omnivore is more leaning towards herbivore not like strictly omnivore om um, strictly herb herbivore if that makes sense hold on i don't know if that makes sense but you know what i mean mostly eating algae and vegetable matter and that but you know they'll eat a, eat a bit of bugs and insects and that but for a planted tank for a community tank for um your kids 
you know, first aquarium for your first aquarium. Or, you know, maybe you're a massive cichlid keeper, but you want a little planter tank. They're a perfect option for that. I think they're such fantastic fish. Like, their versatility and color and ease of care means that I think they're one of the best fish. Like, they very well could be the best fish. Period. Full stop. End of conversation. They could be the best fish. So, yeah, I mean, why not? Get that's one for you to look into at least like if you're setting up a new tank think about a platy because platys are the coolest fish like i really like them um i'm not the world's biggest like little fish and like community type fish I f i'm not the world's biggest fan of just they're not 100 percent for me personally in my personal hobby but platys not even you know Platys, I would, I would set up a platy tank in a heartbeat. Like, I'm considering, I have a tank over there that's currently got a couple pelgaramis in it that are kind of just there until they sell. But once they go, I am thinking about turning that into a platy tank. So that might be a bit of fun. Um, keep an eye on the space. But, yeah, that's kind of all I had for today, I guess. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It really helps us out. I am working on some really cool stuff at the moment, so you want to stick around to keep up to date with all the latest. But yeah, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.